We are still going to be working on the Clay Classic News video announcements. We might be out of school, but we need the Clay Classic News more than ever because we want to be able to connect with people and show faces and it'll give everyone a chance to kind of have that community. So in order for us to stay and be connected, I'm calling on all of you to submit fun video segments that we can use on a weekly basis. So you're going to have a list to choose from. And if you think something unique other than that list, just contact me through inbox and I'll let you know if that's a good idea or not. But I would love for you to use something called Apple Clips. Most of you have iPhones. If not, Android has some good things too. Um, but if you can use a decent editing tool that's on your phone or iPad, that would be awesome. Uh, if not, you can just send me the videos in different segments and I can put the videos together. So if you can't edit, that's fine. If you can just film, that's fine. Um, that's, I can edit it all together. That's no big deal. So not, not that I need to say this, but I'm going to. Just make sure this is something your grandma can watch. We got to keep it appropriate. This could be something that we actually send out to families as well. Typically, our video announcements we are seen only in school, but this could be something we put on Twitter and Instagram and everyone could watch it. If you don't have a way to film or edit video, that's okay. I know some people responded to my survey that they can't film. You don't need to. What you'll use instead is Adobe Spark video. Uh, it's part of the Adobe Spark app, but it's just, you can create videos with it. So if you see a red asterisk or just a an asterisk next to the list, those are options that you can easily do with Adobe Spark video. And you don't have to be on the camera. Uh, you can do some recording of audio if you wanted to using the computer. Um, that's just a good option if you don't have a way to film. So these are the things we can choose from. So Weird Holidays, did you know, on this day, fun things to do while stuck in the house, a how-to segment, a 10-second talent pet edition, challenge segments, book recommendations, word of the day or words of the day, and riddles. And if you click on any of these topics, they'll actually take you to a description of the video. So if you click on Weird Holidays, it'll take you next to what Weird Holidays is. And the problem is you can't get back to the list. That's slide eight, so you'll have to click all the way back. Um, you can stop watching now. I am going to go through all the different segments that you could do. So let's start with Weird Holidays. So start with any day of the week. Typically, we start on that Friday, and we work our way to Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And each day is just usually assigned to some weird holiday. So do that. Do, do skits, do props, do dress up, whatever you want to make it fun. And it's always good to put the text on the page, too, to tell us what the holiday is. You could do Did You Knows, where you look up fun different facts that are fun or strange and just share those. If you want to, be as creative as you want, prop skits, use your family, or you can just use Adobe Spark and give text and read. Um, it's usually easy if you have a theme. So if you pick one random theme and then base your five or more facts around that, that'd be good. On this day in history or just on this day is always fun. Start with the first day of the week. Um, you can start with Monday and then end on Friday, or you can just do Friday. But usually it's an on this day on March 23rd in 1944, this happened. So it's always something that happened in the past. And uh, since we typically run announcements on Friday, this is something you can do, uh, anything historical. That link there will allow you to see the research. Um, I, and then also have, just to go back to Weird Holidays, a couple links you can work with. Fun things to do all stuck in the house. We've never done anything like this. I don't quite have any examples. But what are fun and creative ways to pass the time? One of the examples we're going to have is a teacher created a bowling alley in their front hallway. So you can show us how to set it up, what we'll need, kind of like a how-to, and make sure it's safe and functional. So have fun with this one. I'm not quite sure what this could be. This is in your hands. A how-to segment. Um, what are you good at? Do you want to show us how to do something? Give us a how-to video. You can show us how to cook, put something together, draw, paint, anything. I put an example of a little girl doing a food tutorial, which is fun. Just make sure you edit it down so we're watching you and the important parts of the segment. We don't need to watch all 30 minutes of you cooking something. 10 Second Talent Pet Edition. Since we can't go through the halls and find people do fun things, we're going to see what our pets can do. So if you've got a pet that can do some cool tricks, 
uh, this will just be a one-time submission. All the other announcements, you'll have to do something different, but it'll be a compilation probably. So we'll see teacher pets, your pets, and introduce them, show us their tricks, just something fun. We could do a challenge segment. Give yourself a challenge and then see if you can do that challenge in a certain number of minutes and an amount of time so you can challenge yourself and we can watch you and laugh and it'll be fun. Or give us, the audience, a challenge. Describe what we'll need. Is it build something using paper, tape, and a ruler and see how tall we can make it? Um, sometimes those are activities you do in the classroom. Um, so some kind of challenge that we can do. And then you tell us what we need. And then I will have teachers get photos or videos. We'll request, hey, make sure you send our videos or photos to your teacher. And the next video announcement, we can see some of those challenges being made. Uh, book recommendations are good. Uh, this is our chance to showcase some awesome stories out there. We know what to watch. We know what to listen to. But what are we reading? So what I'd love for you to do is introduce your book. Show us the book cover. Give us a short explanation of the plot. Don't give away any spoilers. And then explain why we should read the book. I gave an example to your right of a kid doing a pretty decent job of one. Word of the day. This one may seem kind of boring, but I think it's a lot of fun and we should do more of it. You choose a big crazy word that many people might not know and you teach it to us. Tell us the word. Make sure we can see the word on the screen. Give us the definition of the word. Use it in a sentence. Do a couple words. You don't have to do one. You can do more than one. Make it into a skit. Add props, family, your pet. Who cares? Have fun with it. Uh, notice I did give you two decent Sesame Street examples. So if you've got puppets of your own, go for it. The last segment we can do would be riddles. Find some fun riddles and ask them to the audience. And what we'll do is we'll split this up into two parts. The first part is you asking us the riddle, but you don't give the answer right away. And then we'll wait and show a few more segments throughout video announcements. And then number two, we'll come back to you and you'll say something like, do you know the answer to? And then you'll say the riddle again. And then you give us the answer. If you give us a couple riddles, we can sp splice the different riddles throughout the um, episode. So we have three or four riddles to work with from different students. We can do that. Um, and if we don't use a riddle during the first week of announcements and no one submits riddles throughout the rest uh, in a couple weeks, we can use we can use those. So the goal would be to sp splice those throughout. So those are some different examples you can do. And I look forward to seeing what you create.